Republicans won a majority in the Senate and believe they're on track to maintain their majority in the House. So once the new Congress is sworn in January 3rd, who will be in leadership? In the House, Speaker Mike Johnson is vying to keep the gavel. Johnson wrote a letter to his Republican colleagues in which he laid out their top priorities, secure the border, promote investment through the tax code, prioritize domestic energy production, reduce regulations, and expand school choice. Johnson wrote, we will operate from our well-designed playbook and execute those plays with precision to put points on the board and win for the American people. Johnson has the support of President-elect Donald Trump, which is a key advantage. He even got a shout out during Trump's victory speech. And I want to thank Mike Johnson. I think he's doing a terrific job, terrific job. With Trump's support, it will be tough to challenge Johnson. It's worth noting, though, that Republicans are on track to have a one or two seat majority. So if anyone decides to put up a fight like they did with Kevin McCarthy in 2022, this could become a true battle. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise is also running to keep his job. He has consistently been elected unanimously to be House Republicans number two. There's no reason to believe that will change. The biggest question is Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. She's the conference chair, and if she runs again, she'll likely win. But she's also contending to be U.S. ambassador to the United Nations in the next Trump administration, which would leave an opening. The leadership elections are November 13th, so we'll have a much better idea of what will happen next week. In the Senate, Mitch McConnell is stepping down as Republican leader after the longest serving tenure in history. Three lawmakers are running to take his place, John Thune, John Cornyn, and Rick Scott. Thune is from South Dakota and currently serves as the Republican whip, or the number two. He's in charge of counting how Republicans will vote on certain bills and trying to convince holdouts to support the party's legislative priorities. Cornyn is from Texas and previously served as whip, but had to step down because he was term limited. Scott previously served as the head of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, their campaign arm. He also challenged McConnell for leader in 2022, but only received 10 votes compared to McConnell's 37. Wyoming Senator John Barrasso will take Thune's place as whip. I'm Ray Bogan for Straight Arrow News. For more unbiased coverage, download the SAN app and turn on notifications.